before you knew who I was I heard you crying down in Egypt's land you are my people I am your God a covenant you cannot comprehend I'm gonna take you on a journey we're gonna walk across the sea but children don't you worry let me set your mind at ease you do what's possible you do the praise I'll do the miracles I'll make the way you put your trust in me you keep the faith then when you can't go on that's when I'll do the miracles our God. He saved us from a wicked world of sin. So why do we worry when it all falls apart? When the stormy tides of life come crashing in. We have but one purpose that's to trust with all our heart then to stand back with wonder as we watch the waters part and he says you do what's possible you do the praise I'll do in me you keep the faith then when you can't go on that's when I'll do the miracle you do what's possible you do the praise All God's people said, Amen. Amen. I tell you, if that didn't light your fire, your wood is wet and you need to go home and dry it out. <laughs> Amen. I tell you, God is a God of miracle and He's going to make a way. Amen. Do you believe that this morning? Amen. Amen. We're so like Peter, you know, in the Bible. We really are. I am. I don't know about you. I'm forever putting both of my feet into my mouth eternally. <laughs> uh, I, I'm. I'm I'm constantly uh, speaking up when I need to keep my mouth shut, and I get myself into trouble when I do that, just like Peter. And such was the case with Peter today, and, and I invite you to open your Bibles with me to the Gospel of John, chapter 14. Uh, in that earlier chapter, chapter 13, uh, Peter 
is uh, struggling in his walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And we want to talk about today seeing Jesus as the way in our life. And Daniel just saying so beautifully that God will make a way with us and for us when we can't see a way. And I've been there many, many times, and I know you have, when I couldn't see a way, and God made that way. And boy, was I ever glad he did. Uh, He just opened up the gates, and I walked through. And uh, Peter has just said in the latter part of chapter 13 of the the book of John, he said, Lord, uh, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. And Jesus said, uh, uh, will you lay down your life really for me, Peter? Would you really do that for me? Sometimes we, we say a lot of things, don't we? We say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And, and Peter said, Lord, I'll lay my life down for you. And Jesus said, really? Would you do that? Most assuredly, I say to you, the rooster will not crow till you have denied me three times. And you're going to lay down your life for me? And I'm telling you, Peter, I know you better than you know yourself. You're going to, the rooster won't crow what you three times deny me. So I don't think, Peter, you're going to lay down your life for me. And listen to what Jesus says in chapter 14. How precious your Lord is. How amazing he is. How graceful he is. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God? Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Lord, I'll lay my life down for you. Jesus said, Peter, don't worry. Don't worry. I've gone to prepare a place for you. I'm going. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said, Lord, uh, we do not know where you're going. How in the world could we know the way? And Jesus said unto him, I am the way. I am the way. God will make a way, amen? God will make a way. And he not only said, I am the way, but he said, I am the truth. Notice that this phraseology is very, very specific and very, very powerful. Jesus did not say, I am one of many ways, but I am the way 